Hello, how y'all doing? I want to talk about this. Kyle Rittenhouse's mom, a massive failure. Now, I'm talking about this aftermath of Kyle Rittenhouse killing, uh, killing two people and almost killing another, a third person. The truth is, he's a serial killer. That is the definition of a serial killer. He's a mass shooter. That's what that's what is on his resume. He's a mass shooter. So you know it begs the question what kind of parents did he have? I haven't heard too much of his father. I, I just heard he lives in Wisconsin. So let's just say for the sake of argument that his mother has primary custody of him. Okay, so he what kind of mother? did he have? I mean, she's a massive failure. She let him leave the house at 17 years old to go over, to go across state lines with an AR-15. Now, if you're going to carry a weapon like that, if you're going to carry any weapon, you plan on using it. You're not there for decoration. You're not there to play checkers. You plan on using that weapon. So what kind of parent would let her 17-year-old go across state lines with an AR-15? 15 rifle she just felt the truth is she felt miserably as a parent okay and, she, and that failure didn't start at 17 it probably started much younger because the truth is he went there to kill blacks at because it was a black lives matter protest he went there to kill blacks but three white guys got in the way why because they thought he was a a, a live shooter Okay, but he was intending to steal to shoot blacks, but actually, um, even if he had shot blacks, the same thing, he still would have gotten not guilty because if you kill blacks, it's okay. Now, the fact that he killed two white guys, he's considered a patriot because he killed two nigger lovers. Because I don't like that word, but that's what he did. He killed two nigger lovers He's who were sympathetic to the Black Lives Matter protest. So it's good to, for him to kill that. And he maimed the third one. So that's okay with the white folks. It's okay with the jury. Okay? That who were probably, who, as I understand, were all white. And Kyle Rittenhouse knew when he got into that courtroom he was going to be acquitted. Because you could see the smile on his face. He knew he was going to be acquitted day one. The judge was bought and sold. The jury was bought and sold. He knew it. And he knew he's going to be acquitted that day one. He probably practiced those tears for two days before he got it right. But see, his parent, his mother didn't even stop him from going somewhere. She failed as a parent. And she can't parent him now because it's too late. If she tries to parent him now, he's going to say, well, I do the same thing to you that I did to those two men. That I did to the other guy. I do the same thing to you. In fact, he's going to be telling his peers the same thing for the next 10, 20 years. He's going to tell his girlfriend, I do the same thing to you. I do the, that I did to those men. He's going to tell his peers, if you don't back off, I'm going to do the same thing to you that I did to those men. Okay, you know what? His mother is no different than the parents of those young people who are doing a smashing grab. Okay, in California, anywhere else or the looting that happened earlier. She is no different than the derelict, because all of the parents of those young people are just derelict parents. She's a derelict parent. She's no different than them, who the parent of those smash and grab looters. She is no different than the derelict parents that would give their 12 year old son a gun and, and they go shoot somebody. 15 year old shooting people, five or six times. You know what, I read the news y'all. 15-year-old gunned down a 27-year-old man, shooting five times. I read the news. See, that's a derelict parent. Okay? The, she, she's just as much a derelict parent as them. She's just as much a derelict parent as the parent of the uh, gangbangers. You know, because you, when you look at the gangbangers, you wonder who their mother was. You know what? She's just like them. She's a de derelict parent. She doesn't want to parent her child. Like I said, if you analyze the crime, Kyle went there to kill blacks, but those three white guys got in the way. And he killed them. He killed the white guys that were trying to stop him because he was an active shooter. 
Now, like I said, uh, he went there to kill blacks. Okay, but he killed three white sympathizers, which, which in the eyes of the white jury and in the eyes of white people, he's now a patriot because he killed two uh, white sympathizers, uh, two nigger lovers. Okay, so that is Cal Rittenhouse's resume. He's a serial killer. He's a mass shooter. He's a mass killer. That is his resume. And see, now she's trying to play big and bad. I got, you know, because her lawyer, because she's too poor, her, her lawyer's fees are paid for by Fox News. Okay. So she's all big and bad. She's going to get her lawyers to talk to Joe Biden. She's all big and bad because she didn't pay a dime of lawyer's fees. Okay. But the truth is, she's a massive failure. She failed as a parent. She did not parent him. And it's too late. She cannot parent him anymore. We we only get one opportunity and one opportunity only to parent children. We don't get no second chances. There's no do-overs. We get one opportunity to get it right with children. Now, like I said, she's the same parent that gives birth to the game bangers. She's the, she's the same parent, you know, where kids from 12 to, to 25 to 35 just... See somebody kill them on the street. She said she gave birth to those derelict parents. I mean, uh, derelict children. She's the same type of parent that gave birth to all those derelict young blacks. Cause I'm being real, that keep smashing and grabbing and just keep killing people on the street. Uh, she's she's the parent of those young people that would kill you. You know, in a drug deal gone bad. They only what 16, 17. And she's a massive failure as a parent. Have a nice day.